Tonight, as the Red Wings played host to the Senators, we had ourselves an eventful opening period, but also a truly scary scene of Larkin out cold on the ice. So with plenty to unpack, let's do just that. After getting on an early power play, the Sens set up, shot from the point, and they score. Just two minutes in, it's Giroux picking up the rebound to get his ninth. About seven minutes to go in the period, and Stutzla would get called for roughing. Not a great call here, but nonetheless, the Red Wings, 0 for 2 to this point, got their third power play of the game. And about halfway through it, shot on net, a frenzy for the puck, and suddenly, Larkin is face down and unresponsive. Perron goes for Zub, who also stayed down, but quickly, the gravity of Larkin's injury got real. Players on both teams calling for help as the stretcher comes out, and yeah, everyone in the stands and on the ice a bit shell-shocked as there was just a ton of confusion as to what just happened. So, let's take a closer look. From this angle, it looks real bad, like Joseph cross-checked Larkin to the head, and that's what caused him to go out. But from here, you can see better what happened. Joseph, trying to clear Larkin out of the way, definitely does so by going high to to Larkin's head, goes right into Kelly, and it's actually Kelly's right hand, maybe the butt end of his stick, that appears to knock Larkin out. And then Zub, only making it worse, falls right on him. But as for Zub, while he was actually signaling for help, from Perron's standpoint, he looks up, sees his captain face down, and Zub standing over him. So he sees red and goes right for him, cross-checks him to the face, and it was just a crazy sequence here. Now, thankfully, Larkin did come to and was able to get off the ice somewhat on his own feet, but man, you just hate to see this. I'm really hoping he's all right after what has already been an incredibly hard week for him and his family. And as they showed in the game, this is particularly scary considering the shot from Ben he took a few years ago that caused him to miss the rest of that season and then this one from last season which happened to involve Joseph. So with the neck issues he's had, I'm truly wishing the very best for him. Now, as we just saw, there was a lot here for officials to unpack. They called a major on Joseph so they could do just that. And after a length the review. I know Detroit fans are probably going to hate me for this, but I kind of think they got it right. A couple of roughing penalties for Joseph and Kelly, as Perron would get a match and the game, getting called for intent to injure, which got him booted. And honestly, while I know why he did it, you see your captain on the ice like this, you're going to retaliate. He is probably going to see further punishment for this if I were to guess. But after all of that, it was the Red Wings that would come out with a 4 on 3 power play. And taking advantage, Kane with the puck decides to go for it and rips it home for his first as a Red Wing showtime baby as he squares it up and look at the celly. So the lowest of lows with Larkin, but also a high here to see Kane on your team scoring his first. But with that, again, after an eventful first, that then gets us over to the second where the Red Wings without Prawn or Larkin were down to eight forwards for the game, which was going to be tough. And after a high stick to start the period, oh, wait, where is the high stick here? But it was a power play for Ottawa, which meant it only got tougher. And sure enough, Chikrin to Tarasenko, and he scores. Rips it five hole to beat Lyon on one he probably needs to have. But nonetheless, it was two to one. Just five minutes later, Joseph to Kubalik, and he scored three to one on another you probably want to see Lyon get, but just a rough night for Detroit. And if it couldn't get worse, late in the period, Stutzla in tight, and with just a minute to go, it was a three goal game. But look at the dish from Batherson, a thing of beauty. But again, a rough 40 for Detroit gets us to the final 20. And while I'm surprised it took this long, Joseph and Fisher would go at it. As we got to the end of the game with four to go, the wings would pull Lyon, and not a minute later, it's Sanderson, sails one from way deep, and he drills home the empty netter to put a cherry on it as Ottawa comes into Detroit and takes this one five to one. But the story, no doubt, is Larkin. Again, I just hope he's all right here. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.